PEGI 18 This time around we want players to really care about this world, really feel like they understand this world and they really are going to get drawn into it. At any one moment, in any particular direction, the player can see something they haven't seen before and go to it and explore it. In Just Cause 4, we enter into the beautiful South American world of Solis. Vertical environments, gorgeous diverse biomes, this is one world we cannot wait to explore. It's taking everything that we found interesting and amazing about South America as a whole continent and sure picking those bits and pieces and putting it together as a big world. It's a bit of a hybrid of a lot of different countries. We didn't want to just pick one and, and emulate it. We actually were able to take a trip to Peru just to capture uh, the sounds of the different biomes there. How do you write a history for a fictional place? Oh, that, yeah, that's a great question. Okay, uh, let's start from the narrative, okay? Uh, who lives here? Who does these people do? And then from there, we build the pieces and we make the town. Where the game starts is not where the history of the island starts. We went back to 500 years uh, to, to, to try to create a historical context for the island that makes sense once you arrive there. Say in the grasslands, uh, that will be composed of more contemporary buildings where if you go up to the rainforest, where the original settlers came in, those buildings tend to be more of a not colonial style. We developed river technology for it, meaning that river now have currents, and currents change dynamically. So we have four biomes or regions in Just Cause 4, uh, but within each of those there's between two to four different sub-biomes, and it's a way for us to add variety in a very big landscape. Just Cause is a vertical game. Uh, we, we always want to stress the verticality, we always want to bring that in, we want the game to be fully three-dimensional. We've gone from talking about square kilometers to cubic kilometers, um, which is fantastic. Uh, in JC3 we mainly sculpted a lot of it by hand. Uh, this time around we want to take that with us, it's still some, an important step, but we introduced scan data, data that we can take in, lift it into the engine and then move it around and reshape it how we want to. It's not top-down projected map, it's hollow. Um, you have caves, you have cave systems, you have tunnels. So it's, it's more than meets the eye at first glance. So if you take one of our uh, beautiful locations, it's called El Abismo, it's sort of a slum bridge uh, juxtaposed with uh, favelas that you might see from Rio de Janeiro in South America. These two things are combined in a vertical space. We actually have a, a, a credo uh, at Avalanche if you can see it, uh, you can go there. If you poke it, it reacts. And that, that really goes through um, in everything we do, and, and particularly so in, in, in Just Cause 4. So one of the phrases that we like to say is a world that Just Cause deserves. With a world that Just Cause deserves, one of the things that we really wanted to do was create a playground that feels relatable. So that no matter how long you play this game, you're always going to see something new.